guys, what is going on? It's your boy KJHDRD here again, and today, guys, I have a very special video for you guys. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you 50 tips and tricks on various ranked maps, which a lot of people do not know about. So, yeah, I did spend a lot of time and effort on this video, so if you do leave a like, I would really appreciate it, and if you're new, uh, subscribe. So, okay, let's get into the first trick. So, if you're playing chalet and your team goes downstairs to defend the garage and wine cellar and you take Kaid, normally Kaid players would come here and throw their uh, electric claw like this and, re and electrocute the walls. But instead of doing that, you take your electric claw and you come up here. You come right up here and you want to throw it exactly how I'm going to throw it. Just like this nope just like this and when you have done this it will electrocute these two walls so it is a very useful spot as emps will not affect it and thatcher will not be useful in opening this wall so yeah that's the first uh trick guys let's get into the next one there's another really cool trick is that blitz can actually counter Oryx's knockdown ability by flashing at the exact time that he's about to hit you. So, okay, go. Just like this. Exactly. He's flashed, but I didn't get knocked down and you can easily, easily uh, uh, kill him like this. So, let's get into the next one. There's another really cool tip is that Oryx can actually dash through two walls at the same time, losing only 10 health. So, let me show you guys. For example, I'm going to dash through this wall and this wall at the same time. You just want to aim it perfectly and go through both walls at the same time and you can catch enemies by surprise like this. So let's get into the next one. Guys, another really cool tip is if you spawn construction site on um, Clubhouse and you run this way, a lot of people do like spawn peeking this door right here and a really good counter spawn peek is you come to this crane right here and you can peek it through this angle right here and it's very very hidden so the defender won't even see you and uh, yeah you can get an easy pick just like this so yeah so let's get into the next one so a really neat kai trick in clubhouse is if you want to defend the garage and you reinforce these two walls you can actually put a bandit so that it doesn't get destroyed by an ADS. So what you want to do is mark above the, the reinforced wall. So you go up here and then you want to place your Kaid just like I'm doing. Just like this. And you should be able to electrify these walls. You can do this for these two walls as well. And the ADS, it can sometimes get it but sometimes it doesn't and it's just a really neat trick you guys can use on a clubhouse to defend the garage so let's get into the next tip okay so this next tip is more for beginners but uh, most people don't even notice and it's that you can actually shoot capital's bows through bullet holes so let me show you right now make a bullet hole uh, just like this and then you can shoot it through and as you can see it goes through the bullet hole i will give you another example like this and you want to just aim it right in the middle when you shoot it as you can see it goes through and you can you this is really useful because you can uh, block um, roamers or whatever and yeah let's get into the next one all right, so now we're on the map chalet and this is a really nice maestro trick if you're playing downstairs in garage and you want to get rid of uh, thermite or hibana trying to open this wall. So what you want to do before the round starts is open this wall and when the round starts, you want to quickly go outside and place your maestro in this wall like this. Just like this. And then when you get back, you just want to quickly reinforce. And when you have reinforced the wall, 
when Thermite or Hibana comes, you can easily get rid of the charge or even kill someone like this because uh, the camera is very hidden and it will be very hard for people to find it and destroy it. As you can see, you can't even see it. So you'd have to come really close to actually get rid of it. So yeah, it's a really good Maestro spot. Okay, so let's get into the next spot. Okay, so another really efficient way of um, getting anybody that's trying to open this wall is actually taking Valkyrie, throwing a Valkyrie camera out here. You can throw it anywhere just to get information on if they're trying to open the wall or not. Then what you want to do is you want to come up here. You want to come right here and you want to just aim right here and stand like this then what you want to do is open this window take your nitro cell and aim it exactly like i'm doing just like this and now i will show you guys where the nitro cell lands up as you can see the nitro cell is very close to the wall and if anybody's like coming over here to try and thermite or open this wall you just explode it and they get killed so it's a very efficient way of getting anyone that's trying to open that wall so let's proceed to the next one now i'm gonna show you guys a very good angle you can get on people repelling into this balcony right here so if you're playing aviator room most people do come from here so what you want to do is take someone with an acog and you just want to come into master bedroom right here then what you want to do is just open just a little piece of the window and what you can do is you can get people trying to repel into a uh, balcony and a very useful thing as well is you can get a friend with you and you can tell your friend to jump out and get detected and when he gets detected most people are gonna try and look for him and you can just be right here and one tap headshot them so it's a very good angle that you guys should definitely use so yeah all right so now i'm gonna show you a very good valkyrie camera spot on uh oregon and what you want to do is you want to come into meeting hall and you want to place your camera exactly like this and like from here you can you just can't see the camera it's a very op spot so defenders are never gonna find the camera but you can see everything clearly as you can see so anyone rotating or anybody on hatches you can easily spot them without them no never finding where the camera is so yeah very useful camera spot all right so another really useful maestro camera spot is actually if you're playing on oregon downstairs in laundry room so what you want to do is you come over here to this right here and you want to hit out the shelf of this this one right here i've, I've already done it uh, like that it doesn't take time then what you want to do is you want to hit out this like like i already did so you just want to completely hit it out just the bottom part so you have some space just like that then you put your maestro cam like this and when anybody tries to peek this or come from here you can actually see them on your maestro cam and you can actually tag them like this and the maestro cam is very hard to see from the attacker's perspective because anyways they're going to be focused on enemies so when they're in here you can just easily annoy them and yeah that's the other maestro camera spot let's get into another trick now we have a very good spawn kill on the map theme park this spawn kill looks towards main entrance and most people do like to spawn main entrance so it's a very good spawn kill so what you want to do is you want to go into control room right up here then what you want to do is open this window and get onto this and then what you have to do is you want to sprint towards the wall and then sprint towards the window and then crouch so i will demonstrate this right now you sprint towards the wall and then you want to crouch and as you can see guys i'm on the window and i'm not detected and you can just peek people trying to come 
from main entrance right here so people will never expect this and it's a very good spawn kill so yeah let's get into the next trick now i'm gonna show you an op mirror mirror spot in oregon so what you want to do is come into kitchen you want to reinforce this wall right here then you want to explode this wall and put your mirror right here after having done this you want to come here and open this wall right here you want to just shoot it out a bit so you can have a view just like that then you want to come over into this room shoot out this wall then shoot out this wall as well so reload the shotgun just like that and now when you go back as you can see guys you can have a very very good angle on anybody in this room trying to go upstairs or even trying to open the hatch or come from garage right here and you can also have a very good angle on meeting hole or anybody trying to rotate so yeah this is a very good mirror spot that you guys can definitely use now i'm showing you guys a nice hiding spot for cavera on the clubhouse map so what you want to do is you just want to come up here in garage and this this um, hiding spot is very useful if you're playing cash so you want to vault onto this like this and you want to go all the way to the end just like this just be careful not to fall off like this and then when you have reached the end you want to go a little bit to the left so you drop down just a little bit just like that and then you want to get up and sprint onto this as you can see it's a very cheeky hiding spot because uh, a lot of people like to push from garage onto this window and you could just easily pick them off even if you're playing downstairs people come from this ladder so yeah it's a overall a very good hiding spot i'll show you a very nice thermite trick that works very good on coastline so thermite can actually open walls even if they're reinforced and banditized and you don't have a thatcher for example if this wall was banditized and reinforced what thermite can do is he can go upstairs just like this and if you place the exothermic charge exactly like i'm placing just like this and you go back down and explode it it will actually open the top part of the wall and this works for reinforced walls as i'm going to show you after this clip it works on multiple walls so yeah let's let me show you the next walls that this works on so another very important wall to open when the defenders go in kitchen is this wall right here because if you open this wall you can get many angles into kitchen so to open this wall what you do is you go above You go into VIP lounge and you put your uh, thermite charge right exactly where I'm putting it, right here. And when you explode it, it gets rid of the top and you can have very cheeky angles inside. As you can see, I can have a cheeky angle on you here and on bandit and they're probably not even gonna expect it because nobody knows about this trick so let's go on to the next one so another very important wall if you're playing secure area and they decide to go blue bar is this wall right here so you want to go right above it and if you put your thermite charge exactly like this and you explode it it will get rid of the top part fully and as you can see you can have a cheeky angle on the defenders inside so now i'll show you the last and final wall on coastline the wall right here so if this wall is reinforced and banditized you just want to go into a billiards room 
and put the thermite charge exactly like this and now when you go outside and you blow the wall up it gives you a very good angle in to blue bar all right so this next trick is actually a nitro cell spot and it's a very useful one that i don't see a lot of people using so it's on bank actually and it's downstairs in lockers so what you want to do is you want to come over here and most people actually come from here and try and plant right behind this wall so what you want to do is you want to place your nitro just like this and maybe you can place a valkyrie camera to see if anybody's actually gonna plant and when you see them planting right like this you can just explode your nitro cell and get them by surprise so this is very this is a very interesting uh, nitro cell spot that i recommend using when you play this objective so yeah let's get into the next one now i will show you guys a murder hole to effectively use to counter anybody peeking this window right here i've used this murder hole on um, canal many times so what you want to do is just indicate where people peek this window from so exactly where my ping is then you want to come over here and make a bullet hole just like this and people can try and peek you but you're always gonna have the advantage on them because nobody will know that you're behind this wall just like this so yeah very good murder hole to use as you can see not even from here i can see that there's a bullet hole so yeah it's very it's a very effective effective killing tactic here's a new tip for hibana users so with Hibana's ability, you can actually create really nice murder holes. So I will show you right now. So, for example, if they decide to go here in garage and you want to open this, you can actually just go here, aim exactly where I'm aiming, just like this. Like this. And when you shoot it, it creates three really nice murder holes that you can utilize. And if you have a Kali, she can go on the car right here or a glass and you can get people by surprise. So yeah, it's a very, very nice trick to know. Another really nice spot for Hibana murder holes is on cafe in kitchen. So when they reinforce this wall as Hibana, you can just come over here and aim exactly where I'm aiming, just like, this and you can create a really nice murder hole to surprise the enemy just like this you can get anyone over here anyone over here and yeah it's just a very nice spot for murder holes so guys now i will show you a very good drone spot in a theme park and when defenders decide to go armory a lot of roamers like to play up here on dragon stairs and having a drone looking at them is very useful so what you want to do is take out your drone and you want to go up these stairs and then you want to jump onto this when you jump onto this you want to jump onto this again and then once more up onto this then you want to go all the way to the left until you fall on this metallic thing and then you want to keep going to the left 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 just like i'm doing right now and when you've reached the end you can have a very good drone spot on the dragon stairs as you can see so i'm gonna go up here and i'll show you how it looks like so defenders are not gonna know your drone is here even the light is blocking it out so defenders that are here you're gonna easily be able to see them so yeah it's a very good drone spot so yeah let's get into the next trick so guys the next mirror spot is on border and this one is one of the most useful ones so most people when they go armory they want to place their mirrors here so they can get the thermite or whoever by surprise but there's another really good tactic and you want to go into this room and open this hatch like this and now you reinforce these two walls over here, just like this and this one as well. And the reason we opened this hatch is because you want to take out your mirror and you want to kind of drop down a little bit in the hatch, but not completely. So you want to do 
you want to do exactly like I'm doing. As you see, I drop down just a little bit and you want to go forwards. And then you want to aim the mirror like this and you want to place it. After you've done this, you can go back up and you can place another mirror right above it. Just like this. So you want to just aim it perfectly so you can put it right above. And when you've done this, you can get a very cheeky angle on the defender. So I'm going to show you like uh, right now. So what you want to do is open this door and shoot this right here like this. You want to shoot this open just like this. And when you come back, you can have a very cheeky angle outside the door, as you can see. Nobody will expect you to be peeking this because not a lot of people know about this, as you can see. As well as that, you have two perfectly mirrors. You can open this one like this and you can be laying down. You can throw a nitro if you see anyone or you can just get up and shoot them. So this mirror spot is very useful and not too many people know about it. So let's get into the next one. So guys, the next tip is to go down and like the video. And if you made it this far, please subscribe. So let's get on with it. Now we have a very nice trick for you guys on bank and it can catch enemies off guard. So if your team decides to play downstairs in vault and you know operators are going to push from parking, what you do is you come up here into lobby, you make a hole here and then what you want to do is you want to sprint onto this and then you slowly want to go all the way to the end just like I'm doing and you can easily pick people off who are coming into parking and they're not even going to know where they got killed from. So yeah, it's a very, very cheeky spot and you guys should definitely use it. Another very good and hidden Valkyrie camera spot on border if you're playing upstairs in armory lockers and archives is the one right here. So to do it, you have to just come into archives over here, open this door, take out your Valkyrie camera and throw it right into this car. Just like this. As you can see, you'll be able to see anybody that's trying to repel up here or even on that bridge there. But nobody will able to ever locate your camera because of the smoke. As you can see, the camera can easily see me like this, but I cannot see the camera. So yeah, it's a very useful spot if you're a big Valkyrie camera player. And now guys, I will show you a very nice flank route with Oryx. You definitely do need Oryx for this flank route to work as it will be the fastest method. So if your team is playing an aviator room and you know that they have already come into study to push, what Oryx can do from camping in master bedroom, you drop down this hatch, then you go through this door real quick, back in the window, through this, and then through this wall, and you just want to sprint, and you can silently climb up the hatch and get them by surprise. This is by far the fastest flank you can do to catch anyone in study. So yeah, it's a very good flank route. So a nice little spot on border to counter the locker room run out at this door right here, while like Thermite is opening the wall or somebody is droning there, what you can do is you come over here at West Tower and you wanna come over here to this, you wanna go all the way down and then you try and find the vault button right above this metallic bar, just like this. Then you wanna quickly come up here and vault onto this. After that, you can slowly proceed like this, go all the way to the end like this. When you're almost to the end, you wanna stop and drop down just a little bit to the left like that. Then you wanna stand up and find the vault button onto this. After you're here, you have a very good angle on the runouts here. You can even take Kali or someone and Thermite, oh, Thermite opens this. You can have very good angles. You can also have a good angle on CCTV over here. You can also go further here, but uh, you can't watch the door. But if Thermite opens the wall, you can have good angles as well. So yeah, it's a very 
good uh, spot to um, utilize when playing on border. Okay, so another quick tip is um, Cap Cannon can actually put his booby traps very low on the door and most people do not know this. Most people put their Cap Can traps pretty high, just like this. But if you go to the door and aim, aim exactly between the two uh, bu uh, last bullet holes, you can put your Cap Can trap at the lowest point of the door and a lot of people won't even see it when they come through so yeah just another quick tip let's get into the next one and now this trick is very useful to get rid of my estro cams without having to use sledge or ash for someone to destroy if a maestro cam is placed like this at the back of a reinforced wall what you have to do is simply just shoot around it just like this as I'm doing and it will de get destroyed so yeah it's something really useful to know and to utilize to your advantage so yeah that's uh, that let's get into the next one so another nice little trick on outback if your objective is upstairs and you want to guard these stairs what you can do is you can come over here destroy this vase right here come to this plant and shoot the bottom left corner just like this and then you want to shoot out the tree as well like this this enables you to actually climb up here onto this and then you can slowly come to the edge and anybody trying to rush you can easily kill them and they're not going to suspect you being up here so yeah, it's a very cool and nice trick to do now i will show you a very cheeky drone spot on chalet and this drone spot can catch any defenders trying to roam and trying to rotate in the main lobby so what you want to do is come over here next to the ladder uh, and you want to just take out your drone jump up here just go all the way up until you get to this then you want to jump up onto this and then slowly move right here so you don't fall off just like this and then you just want to jump into this window and as you can see you can get a very good drone spot on anybody trying to rotate anybody upstairs and yeah it's overall just a good drone spot so um yeah let's get into the next one real quick so guys the next spot is on theme park and it's upstairs when you decide to go daycare so when you go daycare most people start coming through bakery or cafe however you want to call it and a really good strat that not a lot of people use is this spot right here so what you want to do is you go into office over here and you want to go into office vault and you want to place your mirror just like this just like this then what you want to do is you want to shoot above it you want to shoot the whole wall above it just like this so that you can vault over it then what you want to do is you want to shoot this wall or you can just open it with a nitro whatever just like this so this spot is very useful because if somebody's peeking the bakery door you can just quickly get up and peek them and they're not even going to be able to shoot you not even the bottom part because this table right here is blocking the view so for example if i'm an attacker i can see the mirror but i cannot shoot it as you can see i would have to push in a bit more to be able to shoot the bottom but you can just not let them push so yeah, this is a really good angle that not a, not a lot of people use. And yeah, and as well as that, if they do manage to come in somehow, you can always bolt over, bolt over this mirror and just flank them from behind. So guys, the last mirror spot is on house and this one is a little bit more common. So if you're playing secure in a master bedroom or you're playing bomb in workshop and kids bedroom, what you can do is you come into this room and place your mirror just like this. And then what you want to do is you want to go around and shoot this so like that you can peek 
just like this. Now, when you come back inside, you can barricade yourself in and you have a very cheeky angle on this window right here workshop you can make holes in workshop or whatever and yeah it's just overall a very good angle and most people will not even notice that there's a mirror in the wall right there okay so the next tip is actually on villa and a lot of people do not know this and this is actually surprising so uh, a lot of people do like to push from south when uh, you guys go kitchen or dining hall and a lot of people uh, come through this window especially and what you can do to actually flank them if they're in this room this painting right here is actually destructible so if you take someone with an impact or nitro or a shotgun even you just throw it on here and you can just climb up here and instantly flank them and a lot of people won't expect it because people do not know that this is actually destructible so yeah there you go there you go guys another interesting tip so yeah let's get into uh the next one so in this trick i will show you how my estro can actually uh defend the upstairs attic on oregon so after having reinforced these two walls what you want to do is come up here go up the ladder then you want to go come around here and jump onto this go all the way here put a maestro cam on this side and then you want to go all the way to the other side and put a maestro cam on this side after having done that you can return back to the attic or kids dorms or whatever and you can easily defend thermite or whoever is coming this way as you can see if thermite tries to open the wall you can easily get the thermite charge or even annoy enemies and when they get rid of one of your cams you still have one more and it's also going to be very hard to get rid of the cams and even if they do you wasted a lot of time and um, you were very annoying so they will be frustrated so yeah that's a very good uh, strat with maestro on oregon a very good valkyrie camera spot if you're playing on clubhouse and the objective is cash room and cctv room is placing the camera right on this light right here as you can see guys it is very hard to see the camera especially from far if you come close it's a little bit easier but it's still barely visible and uh, this camera is very useful because a lot of players do like to push either from this wall or from the window over here so if you're standing over here you can ch be checking on your cams where they are and they're not even gonna know where they're getting spotted from so yeah very useful uh, camera on clubhouse so another cool run out you can do with Cavera or any operator on the map outback if the enemy team is pushing from motel balcony is you come into here into garage you hit this window twice so that it opens in one hit and then when you suspect them pushing you can just jump out here and get anybody pushing from there or even pushing from this window so yeah i think it's a very good run out and yeah it should be used very efficiently but also cautiously and now this tip is more for new players a lot of players think that if you repel into skylights like these where they have stairs they think you have to repel all the way down to be able to get out but you can actually just click x here and go inside just like this it's more time efficient and you can catch enemies off guard and it's also a good thing to have at the back of your head this also applies to the skylight on consulate so if you just repel down here you can easily just enter right here so yeah it's good to it's good to know this so this next tip is more for new players again and if your team decides to go upstairs in daycare on theme park what you can do to prevent people from coming into bakery and getting easy kills on them you can just come up here you vault onto this and you slowly go forwards until you see a vault button and you vault onto this right here then what you can do is you can make a cheeky murder hole towards the door as you can see you're gonna anybody pushing from here you can easily 
one tap headshot them and now i will show you how it looks like for their perspective and yeah as you can see these bullet holes are barely visible nobody is gonna look over here immediately most of them just look over here and you can get easy headshots onto them so a very good murder hole and this tip or trick is mostly for new players again so if this hatch is reinforced and there's an electric claw underneath it what you can do to thermite the hatch is just put the thermite charge next to the hatch just like this and then when you explode it It will still get rid of the hatch, which is actually very useful to counter Kaid. So yeah, it's a very nice trick to um, be able to have. Now, this is a very useful trick I'm about to tell you with Maverick. He can actually open reinforced walls, even if they're banditized and you don't have a Thatcher or Kali. So this works on uh, reinforced walls. Right now, they're not reinforced because I don't have anyone to reinforce, me, uh, reinforce the walls for me. So what you want to do for this trick is you want to take Maverick with the DMR and you want to go like this and open the side here, just like I'm doing, just like this. Then what you want to do is you just want to Take your Maverick and go all the way to the left, just like this. Then you want to reload it and you want to go to the bottom and do exactly the same. Just like this. And when you have the button, just want to get this part as well. everything falls down and this works on reinforced walls as well uh you guys can try it for yourselves and yeah it's very useful if you do not have a touch or anyone it does take time but uh if you really need to open this wall yeah then go for it so yeah it's a very useful tr trick with maverick and um it should definitely be used now another very nice valkyrie camera spot if you're playing upstairs on outback most people like to either rush from here or even come from here and what you can do as valkyrie is you take your camera and you put it into this light bulb you want to get it perfectly so that it doesn't stick out just like this as you can see you can see anybody trying to rush from the stairs and the camera is very uh barely visible so if i'm a defender right now and i'm rushing i'm not gonna notice this cam so it's a very good uh camera spot so another really quick tip for you guys on canal upstairs these lines actually indicate where the walls are downstairs so as you can see these yellow lines indicate where the walls separate in the room underneath so yeah this could actually be very useful for fuse or for buck to not uh, get mixed up and yeah it's a very quick one very good valkyrie camera spot on theme park this time is actually up here in cafe what you want to do is you take you want to take your camera and you want to throw it right here as you can see it can be very useful as a lot of people do push from cafe and yeah it's just overall a good camera and should be utilized so if i'm pushing you can barely even see it so and most people won't pay attention so yeah very good camera again on canal a tip if you're playing uh, downstairs in a supply room a lot of people do like to come from this door and most of them always expect someone to be over here peeking them but I've seen players come onto this side and nobody ever expects anybody to be on this side. You just lean like this and when they're in, you easily shoot them. I saw this tactic from Macy J. So yeah, it's a very effective, ta effective tactic that I've also used. So now I'm going to show you guys a very nice uh, 
Valkyrie camera spot to have an overview of the whole roof of canal. So what you wanna do is you come over here and you open this window real quick, you jump out, you run over here and throw your Valkyrie camera right up here. So now as you can see, you have an overview on the whole roof of a canal and it's very useful. It helped me win multiple games and yeah you guys can use it and see how it works out for you now i'm going to show you guys a really nice echo drone spot so if you're playing upstairs on cafe dostoevsky a lot of people like to push from these hatches so what you want to do is you want to come over here and shoot out the top of the bar like i have already done then what you can do is you can throw your echo drone inside and then when you go up with it it sticks to the roof of the bar so it's very it's very discreet and a lot of people will notice it there and you can easily just stun them if you see and yeah it's just a overall a very good spot so yeah so yeah that's about it guys for the video if you did like the video please click the like button i really worked hard for this video and it took me really long to find these spots and yeah if you're new please subscribe and also tell me in the comments some video ideas that i could do next and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time peace Superhero.